Hey everybody, Ed Bowder from MedSchoolMedic.com, the MedSchool Medic podcast. We're here with another five minute EMS refresher, and today we're gonna be looking at 12 lead EKGs. Now, what we're gonna look at specifically today is just lead placement and what parts of the heart the 12 lead actually looks at. So we'll start with lead placement. When you have a patient that requires an EKG, it's important that you place the leads properly because the different leads look at different parts of the heart, and that's what we're really interested in. So you're gonna place V1 and V2 over the third rib to either side of the sternum, to the lateral sides of the sternum. After you place V1 and V2, you're going to want to place V4 to the area of the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. Now, once you've placed that over the midclavicular line, then you're going to take V3 and place that in between V2 and V4. Now, I know it seems somewhat counterintuitive to place V3 uh, after you place V4, but again, it's important to get the placement pro uh, correct. So then after we place V3, we'll place V6 to the mid-axillary line along the same plane as V4, and then V5 is going to go in between V4 and V6. So again, I know it seems somewhat counterintuitive, but you'll be placing V1, then V2, then V4, V3, V6, V5. Trust me, it'll all make sense. And again, when you're looking at it, you want to make sure that V3 is in between V2 and V4. Now let's get looking at some 12 leads. So when you're looking at this 12 lead, there's a whole bunch of information that's kind of given to you, and some of it may not make sense, right? So on along the bottom, we have lead two, and that's just lead two, and we use that as a reference lead, right? So as we're looking at this 12 lead, you want to figure out what parts of the heart you're looking at. Leads two, three, and AVF, we'll be looking at the inferior wall of the heart. That's the right ventricle, the right coronary artery. Now, this is a normal EKG, so we don't really see any elevations. But when you're looking at it, this is the part that you want to worry about. Inferior MIs have a fairly high mortality. So we're looking at the inferior wall of the heart in leads 2, 3, and AVF. Now, when we get to the V leads, which actually are on the chest, we call them the precordial leads, you're going to look at your septal wall in leads V1 and V2. That's the front of the heart. It's affected by the left uh, main artery, left coronary artery. And then we have the anterior wall, which is seen by leads V3 and V4. And again, same thing, left uh, anterior descending artery, left main artery. The lateral wall is looked at through leads V5, V6. And now we're going to go to the other side of the EKG and we'll see leads 1 and AVL. Now, the way to remember which parts of the, of the 12 lead look at the uh, lateral wall, keep in mind the lateral has an L in it, right? So we have the AVL, augmented vector lateral, and we have lead 1, which kind of looks like a lowercase l. Now, when you're also going through this 12 lead, if you need to remember where septal and anterior and lateral fall, when you're looking at the precordial leads, V1 through V6, try to remember the acronym SAL, or SALLY, and we'll get to the I in a minute. V1 and V2 are S, V3 and V4 are A, V5 and V6 are L, and your inferior leads are the I part, and that's 2, 3, and AVF. Now, We've gone through most of these leads here, but we still have one left. We still have AVR. So what's AVR? AVR is looking at the inverse of the lateral wall. It might be easier to remember it as negative AVR because it's actually looking, uh, it's a computerized algorithm that looks to more of the posterior aspect of the heart. Okay, so that's your augmented vector, and it's supposed to be right, and it's looking at the, uh, the inferior and the uh, lateral aspect of the heart as well. It's called the forgotten lead because it's not really looked at all that often. Um, it isn't terribly diagnostic, but if you're looking really deep into the weeds of the 12 lead, AVR is a good lead to look at. It would benefit you to know how to look at it and know what, it can, be, what can be affected in AVR, but um, not terribly clinically significant uh, in the, the pre-hospital environment a lot of times. So that's how to review 12 leads, what the lead placement and what part of the hearts we're looking at. My name is Ed Bowder from themedschoolmedic.com, the Med School Medic podcast. Be sure to like Med School Medic on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, or iTunes, and Google Play, Stitcher, everywhere you get all of your podcasts. We'll see you next time.